Gonzalez. Pastor asked me to say a few words about our spiritual leadership class we had there at Verity. I know a lot of churches in our movement, they have a class for men who desire to either be pastors or be in the, in, be in the ministry in whatever capacity they want. And here at Verity, we have a class where, you know, we train men where, who want to be pastors or who want to be in the ministry. Whatever. And obviously, we don't believe in Bible college in our movement. Obviously, the Bible college system has failed, which is why churches today are failing, because Bible college is not God's plan for churches to begin. God is ordained for churches to produce churches. And everything brings forth after its own kind. So if you're a man, if you're a young man, you desire to be a man of God. And, you know, like Brother Second Priest say, you know, we're like the sense of the prophets. We're like, we're looking afar off and seeing these great men do these great works. But if we want to desire to be these men, which I know many of us do, then we need to get into one of these churches. A church that will train us, that will show us how to do it. And this is a great class that, you know, Pastor Jimenez provides for us. And it's a class that teaches us things that Pastor wouldn't normally preach on. You know, for example, he's taught us how to start a church in your living room. You know, how to develop a soul winning program. How to lead music. How to run the finances in the church. All these things, it's all geared to, if, you know, God willing, if a man gets sent out of Verity, they'll be ready and prepared to do whatever God will pass for them. You know, they'll be trained enough with this class. I know that many of the churches provide that. And we need to realize, and the class provides a lot more than just the classes. It provides the work. You know, there's homework, and there's tests, and there's also verses. We're, we're expected to memorize verses from the Bible. And what's great about this class is the work that it provides. And, you know, work in Compassion Minutes, if there's one thing that the ministry is, you can ask any of these men, the ministry is work. Amen. And if you're looking for a 40-hour-a-week job, the ministry is not for you. Because the ministry, you will find it is a 24-hour-a-day job. You're always on the call. There's always something going on. And so if you want a 40-hour-a-week, it's not for you. And, you know, looking back, you know, this class has been going on for about a year. And I've been there from the first day. And if you would look at the class back then and look at it today, you'd think it's a completely different class. Why? Because men have come and men have gone. Why? Because of the work that's involved. And But I think that's great. Because we ought to, as men, we should prove ourselves in our work. You know, our work is what's going to speak for us. You know, every man will, pro will proclaim his own goodness. Many men say they want to do great things. Many men say they want to be a great man of God. But when it comes down to it, the work will speak louder than your words. And so if you're a man in here and you say, hey, I want to do something for God, whether it's verity, whether it's faithful word, whether it's word of truth, Whatever church, you know, be in the church that will train you because you know what? Everything produces after its kind. And so if you want to be like one of these men, you need to get into the ministry and prove yourself, not with your words, but with your work, with your work ethic, with your actions. Be faithful, work hard, study the Bible. And you know, the class that we have here, it's great because it's geared to make you fully prepared. So at the moment you leave this church, you, you know what? Say, I'm ready to be a pastor. You know, that's, that's the goal for pastor men. And so if you're, a man, if you're a man, you desire these things, you know, be more than the orphans. Be more than Jonathan. Be more than the sons of prophets. Decide, you know what? I'm going to get into one of these churches. I'm going to be faithful, and I'm going to show God that, you know what? I'm willing to work. Because the ministry is a lot of work. And men have come, and men have gone. And as time goes on, more men will come, and more men will go. But we need to prove ourselves faithful in all these things.